Hi, welcome back to the Shimmy series. So we've articulated our hips. We can pretty much do anything with our hips when we slide them together and we're going to have a go at that. But there's another drill that I'd like you to do. We can articulate our hips, but we also need to mobilise. So we need to move our legs. We need to be able to go from one leg to the other or else we're stuck on the spot. This is my, this is a beginner's exercise. So for those of you who've done lots of shimmy work before, you should, you should be able to do this. If you've never done shimmy work before, you will find this challenging. I sure as heck did when I first started. So hopefully, by now, you've got a good rocking hip shimmy. If you haven't, go back to the shimmy series one. It'll show you what we do. Okay. We've articulated it again, two, three, and four. We'll show you how to articulate it. What we want to do now is move it and as long as we've got two feet on the floor, we can't. We're sort of stuck in the spot. So, and this is how, this is an exercise, so it's not necessarily how you dance, but I'm going to ask you to widen your legs. We don't usually dance with our legs wide unless we're trying for tray aggression. And that's fine sometimes, but it's not a default position for most belly dancers. Today I want you to widen them a little, get that shimmy going. What we're going to do, just check that everything is soft, and we're going to just push onto one knee. But what will happen is sometimes you'll bind, just keep trying. And, and remember it's soft. It'll start oscillating. Make sure you don't pump, over pump that knee as a compensation. That's just going to make things more difficult. What happens is it starts oscillating a little. So instead of going up and down, you'll start having a slightly rounder movement because you're on one leg. But this leg is working harder. This is soft, no weight on it. Take it back to the centre, get it going. If it stops when you go into one leg, go back to the centre, get it going again. To the other side. Okay? Don't be worried if it changes slightly. Be worried if you tighten up. Keep it soft. That thigh is more than capable of running this shin. Boom. Boom, we'll take it up. Boom. Boom. Again, make sure your arms are somewhere. Doesn't matter where, as long as you have control over them. Every now and then come back and make sure the shimmy's not stopping. So the point of this exercise is no stopping the shimmy. It goes the whole time. And it's even. It doesn't go faster. It doesn't go slower. It doesn't get smaller. It doesn't get bigger. Okay, so it doesn't go ding, 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 ding. <laughs> It just stays. And I want you, when you start this, to choose, it can be pounding rhythm, but try not to get one that's so fast that you're tempted to tighten up and it becomes a shimmer. I want a shimmer. Once you've got your shimmy sauce to your sugar, piece of cake. Okay, so we're going to go here now. I want you to release that foot and bring it in. And take it out again. And keep the shimmy going. Ticka, 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 ticka. In. Out. Across. In. Out. Across. So, you're moving your shimmy. If you can go from foot to foot and keep it consistent, you can travel it. 